So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rough file. I know that the, that the thing is turning toward me, so I'm going to hold it against it like that. You can feel when you do this, this is rough and that's smooth. So you want it with the rough going against the movement. This is going to be a little loud. I'm going to try to carve that ball in there. See how I've managed to round that? What I'm doing is I'm curving this on there like that to get it to go round. Now I'm going to do more. See how it's starting to get a ball shape? You gotta, don't tilt this. It's gotta stay level or it will climb. This being the file. Now if you look, you see I've got a pretty round little ball on the end of that. Right there. All right. <clears throat> now I'm eyeballing all of this. If you had a CNC mill, you wouldn't even be watching this because you would already be working on your CNC mill. All right. Next, I'm going to try to taper from there in a bit and then down to the back of here. <laughs> If you'll notice, I'm moving the file back and forth. You don't want to wear it all in one place. See how it's getting that roughly cannon-like shape to it? A little taper there and all that. Now I'm going to use a, a lighter file. Start getting some of my marks out. Trim it down a little bit. It's a bigger file, but it's lighter. And I'm going to switch files. And I'm not going to tell you I'm switching files. I'm just going to do it. Damn, yeah. <laughs> Thinner file like this gets more detail in here. Like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing, stuff like that. So when I switch, um, also, if you take something with a, like an edge like this, and you just hit it there, it's going to create a line across there, which will look like the, the, the banding on cannons. So if I want to add some more detail, I can do that. Let's see what I do. Belts from the belt sander that are just done with for a little bit. So I'm going to start going from a rougher one down to the softer ones. This, 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 these guys. All right. Some of you will post on here, well, that part of the canon is actually called this. Do understand that I don't actually care. <laughs> I don't really care about cannons. I care about making this little guy here. That's what I'm worried about. And so far, he looks pretty damn spiff. Um, at least I like to think so. I'm going to put a little bit of detail in him, putting some bands in him. Using... Uh, yeah, this looks like a likely candidate. <laughs> Now, uh, a cooler person than me would hold the saw blade against here to cut it off. I 
got a band saw, I don't need to do that. We do a mark on here. Now, my bandsaw has a big gap there. That's a big finger chomping gap. Uh, probably got, so I put this piece on there. Okay. See, so I've got the mark there. That's what I've got. Now I'm going to uh, flatten that end a little bit. I'm going to bevel that end a little bit too. Bevelling that end because I didn't want it sharp. And now I'm going to I think I'm going to drill the bore down a little bit. Drill a hole in the front. Makes it look more realistic. I could say, well, this is the size I'm going to use. I don't care. <laughs> I do a lot of that. Um, I'm just going to find one that's not going to be too, you know, slamming into the walls of the cannon. Okay, I'm going to put this guy in a vise. I don't want to get marks all over because brass. So I'm going to take a piece of leather, sandwich it in there. Check to make sure it's not going anywhere. Yeah, where's that punch? Oh, there it is. Again, right in the center. Notice there's a lot of eyeballing it. I'm not just going, take exactly this size. This is going to be straight up and down. You don't have to go too deep, only deep enough to make it look good. I'm going to go a little deeper. The deeper you go, the more you risk blowing through the side of it, because we're not guided by anything other than just our eye. Gotta let it cool down for a little bit. Alright, so what I've decided to do is, I'm going to take this eighth inch rod, or eighth inch um, tubing, and put it through that hole on the side here. That's the, uh, the pivot hole I made earlier. Easiest way to do it is take the tubing. I'm going to bevel this little edge. Just put a little. You could do it with the sand, the sandpaper, but I'm going to do it on the machine. You take a small hammer and just start tapping it through. See, there you got the little pivots. Then I just cut those off to the length I want. Got a 
sand them a little bit. Sand just around little burrs off those. That's it.